token, no milk, no token, no milk. From now on, whenever I say no token, you guys say no milk. No token. No token. No token. No token. I got to the front of the line. Mrs. Simmons goes, token. I said, I think I must have misplaced my token. I'm really sorry. Uh, can, can you just give me milk anyway? And tomorrow I'll give you two tokens. And you can just give me one milk tomorrow. So it's like two tokens more than one. And Mrs. Simmons, her glasses fogged over, pointed at the sign. She said, you know the rules. No token. No, no milk. Kids in line behind me started to freak out. They were like, come on, kid, get out of the way. I was like, all right, fine. Forget it. I don't even want a milk anyway. I don't need it. I have a card carrying member with a clean plate club. I'll eat my lunch without milk. And I went back to my table where my classroom sat. And all my friends started coming and sitting down with their lunches and their milks. And they're talking and they're laughing. Some of them even have two milks. I'm like, two milks? That's not even fair. You know, and they're like drinking their milk. And it's like the whole thing's in slow motion. They're like, stop bringing stuff. <laughs> and they see that I don't have milk. They're like, I'm like, yeah, fine, forget it. I don't, I don't need milk. I'll eat my lunch without milk. Watch me, watch me, everybody. And I take out my paper bag, and I pulled out the following items. First thing I took out of the bag was a peanut butter and marshmallow fluff sandwich. I was like, oh no. How am I gonna eat that without milk? My mouth's gonna get glued shut. I reach a little further into the bag. There's a fresh package of Oreo cookies. I'm like. It's not even legal to eat Oreos without milk. I reached a little further into the bag. My mom had put in a homemade brownie. And right behind that, there was a package of potato chips. I was like, come on! But then I remembered, wait, 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 wait. Wait, my mom always gives me a piece of fruit in my lunch. And fruit has juice in it. So all I gotta do is take a bite out of the sandwich. And I can take a bite of the fruit. And the juice from the fruit will wash all the fruit down. But was my fruit that day a nice juicy apple? No. Was my fruit that day a peach or a plum or a pear? No. Was it cherries? No. Was it a bunch of grapes? No. Was it even a banana? No. My mom had given me that day, I discovered, was a tiny cardboard box containing 17 dried up raisins. <laughs> and I looked back at the sign. No token. No token. No token. No token. Now, to make things worse, we had a policy at our school that if you finished your lunch early, you got to go to recess early, which was a ridiculous policy because it meant that kids ate their lunch as fast as they possibly could. They just shovel it all into their mouths and then fly out the door to get as much recess as humanly possible. I watch all my friends, Tommy Butler, Darlene Selby, Ed Lozano, Todd Lukowitz, they're all flying out the door, you know? And I'm trying so hard to eat my lunch and it's so impossible without milk. And I started to have a daydream. I imagined that I was a cowboy riding on a horse through the desert and it was like 110 degrees out, you know? And I ran out of water and the horse couldn't take it anymore and just fell over and then I was crawling across the hot sand, you know, and the sun was beating down and there were and there were and there were vultures circling overhead and there were rattlesnakes and there were scorpions and all of a sudden I heard someone calling my name. I heard Keith Keith and I was like, Is that you, Milk? I'm coming, I'll be right there. I hear Keith. I open my eyes. Mrs. Simmons is standing directly over me, her glasses fogged over, the little flaps of skin on her arm blowing. She said, what's going on here? I said, oh, Mrs. Simmons, I, I'm really sorry. I just, I, I, I'm having a really hard time finishing my lunch without milk. Mrs. Simmons did something I'd never seen her do before. She squeezed herself into the seat directly across from me. And it was that moment that I realized that we were the only two people left in the cafetoriasium. And then Mrs. Simmons said, well, I guess I'll just have to wait here until you're done. I took a bite of the sandwich. I tried to wash it down with the rape. Like, uh... And Mrs. Simmons did the second thing I'd never seen her do. She took her glasses off. And I saw for the first time that she had eyes. And they were clear. And they were blue. And they were kind. And she wiped her glasses off and she said, You know, Keith, I used to lose things when I was a little girl all the time. And I said, mm -hmm. She said, yes, once I lost a permission slip, they wouldn't let me go on a field trip. I said, I'm not fair, Mrs. Simmons. She said, well, you know, Keith, sometimes rules aren't fair. And I said, like no token, no milk. <laughs> she said, like no token, no milk. And she thought, she thought she couldn't remember what happened to the permission slip. She said, 
I must have, must have fallen out of my pocket. It recessed. And that's when it hit me.